The community of Cohasset is preparing for another snowstorm, as meteorologist Patrick Wright was just telling us about, but they're still recovering from the damage the last winter storm caused. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper spoke to community members to see how they're preparing and what you can do to stay safe. 450 traffic. That's affirmative. How are you able to copy WREP 578? Perfectly. Thank you. Maggie Crabiel is the emergency preparedness coordinator in the community of Cohasset. Every time it snows, we usually lose our power. Mm -hmm. Trees come down and it's gone. For some reason, we manage to most of the time keep phone service. But AT&T's phones don't, the boxes don't work without auxiliary power. The people of Cohasset have been without power, internet, and phone service ever since a snowstorm damaged equipment. But she says they've managed to call in for help with her GMRS radio. So even though we have no way to communicate off the hill, I could talk to someone in Oroville uh -huh. on these radios and they were able to call AT&T and if we had a problem, a medical emergency or something, mm -hmm. they would be able to call for us. The day before, the storm took down several trees, one that blocked out snow plows. Quite often, they'll send a plow up the night before so they can kind of get ahead of it and right. stay ahead. That didn't happen. I, I'm sure they were just stretched across this whole county. But once the roads were cleared, people like Chico local Scott McMillan came to the rescue. Uh, just trying to help some people out so they can get in and out of their driveway a little bit and be able to get to town because people are kind of stuck right now. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, are you doing it for free? I am. I'm just up here helping out. And Justin Cohey from Paradise, who's bringing a generator to family and his 43-inch tires to pull people out of the snow. Yeah, we pulled uh, like 17 people out yesterday. I pulled out like two or three 3,500 diesels. I pulled out everybody. As I've been driving through Cohasset, I've seen several cars stuck in the middle of the road just like this one. You can see this particular car looks to be stuck in about a foot of snow. For reference, I'm about five foot five, but I have some heels on, making me about five seven. And you can see the snow comes up to about right here on me. That's about mid calf level. And there's more storms to come. You can see the skies are looking pretty gray. People are preparing for another storm and it doesn't look like this car is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Would you have any advice for people, you know, to prepare for the next storm to come? Uh, if you can get to town, get yourself some food, make sure you have water, um, make sure that you have wood. Remember, you can melt snow to flush your toilets, even if you have no running water. And if you can, try to clear some snow off your roof. When your doors start creaking and won't open inside your house, mm. the pressure coming down is so great that you do stand a chance of a roof collapsing. If you're going to be driving through Cohasset, make sure to take it slow. You can see there's almost no parking and a lot of emergency vehicles and cars have just been parking in the middle of the road because there's really nowhere else to go. You never know what's around that bend. There's a lot of emergency vehicles, PG&E, AT&T cars trying to fix services out here. So just a reminder to be cautious when you're on the road. In Cohasset, I'm Lauren Cooper. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. AT&T did hook up the phone and internet system to a generator so people have communication lines restored for now.